And this cold weather is causing problems for homes and businesses all across central Indiana. Yeah, in fact, frozen pipes are breaking and really creating quite an icy, expensive mess as well. Our Nightbeat reporter David McNally tonight says there are other problems to talk about too. David. Andrea, some home restoration contractors are going to be busy this weekend cleaning up after those broken pipes. There are some things we can do to make our houses a bit safer. The ice coating the window outside was just the first sign Lynn Peoples had big trouble inside. And the whole place fell apart. With no warning. The whole thing. Sitting on the floor, water everywhere. Blame the sub-zero wind chills that burst toilet and shower plumbing. And Lynn's not alone. The hard freeze, hard on infrastructure, from a water main break Thursday night at Kessler and Meridian, to a burst fire sprinkler that soaked a Fisher's High School hallway, to this burst line on South Madison, to Rose's house on the west side. The water busted in the toilet supply line. The break upstairs flowed down. The kitchen area, ceiling area, uh, pantry, laundry room, everything, all the, all the ceiling drywall there has to be taken out. She knows ice and pipes don't mix. Yeah, I used to work in an apartment complex, so I know what it can do, but I just didn't think it would happen to me. Back at Lynn's condo, the floor must go, the whole ceiling too. The whole thing. Yeah, that's what happened. That's it what looked that's like a bomb had hit the damn thing. Other homeowners getting this same bad news. Your HVAC stuff destroyed, all the insulation destroyed, drywall destroyed, and then the flooring destroyed. I mean, if this was a car, it would be a total loss. And now that water's just gone. Because you're talking about it, it's just a toilet. A water line to the toilet, the culprit here too, plus freezing behind the shower faucet. When the water froze, it expanded and it shattered this. So what can you do to prevent icing? In the shower or sink, one thing is to keep a small flow of water running, but... You want to make sure that the drain line is uh, open and can keep up with the flow, otherwise you're going to wake up to a much worse mess. In cold basements, consider a space heater, and in crawl spaces, block any draft. If it does this much damage in a few hours, my God. What happened is you on vacation. Worth checking your homeowner's insurance policy, too, to make sure it covers cleanup from a pipe break like that. And one of the other things uh, that we're told is that sometimes uh, some of the worst problems will hit after we start getting a thaw or the temperatures warm up because when that ice inside the pipes then uh, gets smaller and smaller, that's a lot of times when you get the actual water leaks. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. David, as always, thanks so much for those tips. We appreciate it. Thank you.